Today we're going to be walking through the functionality and features for the 360 bird's eye view camera for the 18 to 22 Honda Accord. Uh, so we're going to start our Accord up here. So this is the home screen. I'm just going to set mine to 3D. This is the home screen for how the 360 uh, view camera system will look. Uh, you got all your little features here on the bottom that allows you to go through. So you can use the remote that comes with it. Again, just make sure that it has a line of sight to the little, the little eye that's down here. I know it's a little hard to see, but we've got the little red eye down here that, that this thing has to talk to. Uh, you can put it wherever you want to in the car, but uh, we're gonna walk through everything. You can either use the remote to go through the function. So I'm pressing the, the arrows on the remote to take me through. Or you can also use your touch screen if you want to just kind of however you want to do it you can see we're just taking it through the different things so the first option here is obviously the 3d view this is a direct bird's eye view of the vehicle from overhead based on what the four cameras are seeing uh, and they are uh, weaved together and then also this is a 360 view so I can actually touch on the screen and move my little cord around and see all the different stuff. Now, when we obviously go like here, we can see the black. That's just because that's coming out of range of where the camera can't see. So that's completely normal. Okay. A uh, quick thing is that the picture looks washed out right now because we raised the brightness so it doesn't, on the camera, it doesn't flicker. That's why it's washed out. Yeah. As you can see, you guys cannot see anything outside. So we adjusted the aperture to uh, show you and uh, so the screen doesn't flicker continue all right so the the different functions here we've got the 3d view which we're looking at right now we got the straight ahead view and again and with that view it's going to show us still our bird's eye but we're also looking straight ahead then we have a wide angle of the front uh, directly ahead we have a bird's eye so this is where it's showing us what it is directly ahead of us based upon the front camera and the two side cameras, it's kind of come up with an idea of what's around us on the front. Directly behind us, so rear view camera, rear view wide angle, and rear view bird's eye. And then we can also do a direct overhead bird's eye. This is coming, you know, looking at a, uh, from the front to the back of the car, out of a side view. And then we have this is directly looking at the driver's side. And again, you can still move it if you want to from this screen. This is uh, both sides looking at just the two side cameras. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm just gonna go back to my three, uh, 3D view and I'm gonna show you how everything works when using the various functions in the car. So I'm gonna turn my driver's side turn signal on first. And obviously that's, you can see the little turn indicator is working on our uh, little 3D model here. So it's showing us obviously the driver's side of the vehicle. Now let's try the passenger side. You can see it shifts. So the little turns on working, but it shifted to the passenger side camera, which is what we want it to do. And I'll turn it off. Let's try the hazards out. Hazards, but, I'm supposed to kick on both. Yeah, so because the, it, the, the screen was on with the remote, that's why it didn't kick in. So, so go ahead, uh, turn off the, yeah, turn, turn that off. Okay, now turn on the turn signal. Okay, there, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So with the hazards on, it brings on both sides. So this is the driver's side camera and the passenger side camera. So that way, anytime you got your hazard lights on, it's showing you what's on either side of you. Yeah. So earlier it didn't work because we manually turned on the the this system with the remote. That's why it didn't work. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So All right, we're turn that off. All right. And now we're gonna put the car into reverse. There you go. So in reverse, it's going to default to just the direct backup camera. Okay. Put back in the park. And it immediately goes back to the Ford camera. Okay, so now we're going to go to our settings. So you got a couple things here with settings. You've got, obviously, the first uh, first option up here at the top is record list. So this system, this uh, 360 view camera system, is capable of recording what the cameras see. So it's an onboard uh 
DVR drive camera basically it's an onboard drive camera um, you will have to have a little USB um, thumb drive plugged into it we've got like a little 8 gig in here um, anything over 32 won't work so anything under the 32 should work you just gotta make sure you have it for it uh, for uh, yeah we, uh, format it. formatted with the uh, fat 32 now on this one we're using I think it's an 8 gig uh, thumb drive yeah we haven't tried the 16 gig or 32 gig so we're not 100% sure if those will work but 4 and 8 gig will 100% work mm -hmm. on this system yeah and we so, verified a 64 definitely so like work, it's right so. here it's a little dark in here but uh, the USB is connected to the slot to the, yeah to the port yeah to the okay. port yeah all right so <clears throat> we got our record list here we've got our drive hooked up so I'm just gonna show you the record list so what this is doing right now because we have our camera already set to on uh, and we'll show you that in the settings in a little bit. It's recording everything that's going on. And if we want to, let's say, for instance, we got all these files here. If we want to look at one of them, we're just going to look at this one right here. I'm going to click on it, and I can hit play. And then once I hit play, it's going to start showing me all four cameras. And now I've got all my options down here at the bottom. Of course, I've got the, the counter showing where it's at in the video. It's a five-minute, uh, one-second video. It's right now at seven seconds. I can take and hit the pause button to pause it. I can hit the play button to uh, start play again. I can fast forward. I can rewind. I can do whatever I want to on it. And then just make it play again. And then I also have the functionality, instead of looking at all four cameras, I can look at what was recorded on each individual camera. So I can click on four camera and it'll only show me what the front camera was uh, recording. Back camera, only what that was recording. Driver's side camera passenger side camera and then I can revert back to the list of the actual files so as soon as you go to that record list the camera stops recording yes uh, besides that as soon as you turn on your car the camera starts recording right away and all the files are saved in that record list uh, mm -hmm. list all right so now we're done with our record list uh, of course we can go in here and delete files if we want to all you gotta do is just click on whatever file you want to delete you can delete it you can play it um, do whatever you want to with it. We hit our repair button. This will take us back to our um, main, options. Yeah, main our main menu screens. options. Yep. Yeah. So we can now go to record set. So from record set, there's a couple of things here that you can do. First off, we've already got our set to automatically record, but you can click that and turn it off to where it's not automatically set to record. So that way, if you don't want it recording all the time, it won't do that. You can also format the DVR. So it's going to format the drive down here, yeah. the little thumb drive. You do need to go ahead and set your year, your month, and your day on it because it's not going to have the current one set on it. And then you can also set your time. Um, you can also change the low voltage setting, which we really haven't messed with that. And you can also go on here and set like a delay of recording. So like if we wanted, it, let's say we're going to be driving, but we wanted to start recording when we get it. We know we're going to get out on the interstate in about an hour. So we're going to go through town. We don't want to record all that. But once we get on the interstate in about an hour, we want to start recording while we're on our long drive to where we're going. And that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. Another cool thing you could do with this right here, let's say, for instance, you're, you know, let's say you're in a, uh, you're with a group of cars that are going to a car event. Maybe y'all are going to be out on the interstate together and you want to do some nice shots of driving past other people's vehicles. You could do that. You could set that to like a delay and record that because these files, once you've got them saved, I mean, obviously you could take them out of, you can take the thumb drive out and hook it up to your computer and download those files. Uh, so you can take some really nice shots with the cameras. I mean, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good cameras on here, so we can take some nice shots. Um, and you can set delays on however you want. I mean, it's got all the way up to like 12, 24 off. You can turn the delay off, which is where we're just going to keep it at because we're not going to mess with any delays. I am going to turn my camera back on though, just because I do want it to record. And again, there's your hours and your minutes and your seconds. And then once you're done, just go ahead and save whatever you're doing just so that way it saves the parameters. And then when it's done, you can hit the return. And then now you're back at the, the main menu again. Uh, we have control set. Control set, you do need to put the password in. And the password is 666-888. And then you're now here at the control set. So there's a lot of different options here. Start mode, you can do auto start. So it automatically starts operating the camera emergency light so like when you hit your hazards it's going to turn the two cameras on the side so like i can mess with this and decide do i want to do you know stream or do I, 
It's got some various options here. I'm just gonna leave it on two sides. Uh, turn light, you can take and do the turn light. You want to have it off or on. So that's just basically the the, uh, the turn light on the camera. Uh, radar start, mess that speed control. We're not gonna mess with that really. Steering wheel, it's just the moving of the wheels and stuff I'm assuming, uh, P key protocol. So some of these views you really aren't gonna mess with. Um, turn light display, 3D view, reverse, ABM. Uh, self delay 30 second front so these are all just different settings that will allow you to go through and set how you want the controls on the camera to be done and again for the most part it's already defaulted to what you need it to and that's the most important thing for the most part everything's kind of pretty much set to what you need it to be set to there's really no reason to mess with anything it's going to be preset for you uh, but these options are here if you want to kind of look at them and see what you got so I'm gonna go ahead and hit return uh, AVM adjust. I'm not gonna mess with that because uh, we covered that in this. We covered that in the already. installation video. That's how you actually set uh, the cameras up. Yeah, to to calibrate uh, for, the cameras for calibration. Yeah. yeah. Display set. Display set. Yeah. Yep. Display set is the next one we're gonna do. So display set, you can actually decide on here. You know, if you want to change the resolution on the cameras from 1080p to 720p, you can do that. If you kind of want to make sure you know you're saving some space on your drive, you can do that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, output uh, HDMI user, so it's just the output format is it's just recording HDMI out to the drive. Uh, starting to rotate one circle. Right, you can adjust the brightness. Brightness the because in the nighttime it is uh, pretty yeah uh, bright. pretty bright pretty bright yeah so you can adjust that from here. At, yeah, unfortunately it doesn't have the auto brightness setting, but uh, and through this uh, settings you can uh, adjust the settings. Yeah, so it's just the different settings on here. You also do have the the option. Uh, if you can change like the color of the vehicle. So this is kind of cool. So we have a, an actual white Accord, so it's already on white. But you can change the color of the Accord to different colors. So if you want your little 3D vehicle to be different colors, you can do that. It's got quite a few little options here. Um, you can do the plate. So like if you want to do the plate, now granted, because this is a, uh, a kit from overseas, it is uh, formatted to the more over um, the overseas license plates like in China and some of those other places there so it's not gonna be quite like the American uh, license plates but you know, we can still play around with it so you uh, change the license plate color from blue to black yeah so we're gonna Let's see if you can yeah oh nice yeah so one what's this two what's that uh, okay so I guess yeah make it white I guess. oh yeah okay. one is good or two okay two? good okay yeah. okay uh, so now blue. I'm gonna do this just do HR uh, H R yeah and then 7777 seven, seven, seven. okay just for fun just for fun yeah okay. see if it actually saves it um, okay and then not gonna mess with any of this yeah stuff. vehicle series we don't know what that is yeah so I'm vehicle. just gonna save what I did just for fun okay okay and now I'm gonna hit return and now we got uh, the system set, which we, this yeah, is. Sure. This is for like upgrades and stuff. Which we're not gonna mess with. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with it right now. Uh, then, version info. And then return. Just return, we're gonna hit return. Okay. So. Uh, go to our 3D view. So you can actually see, see that there's HR 77777. Yeah. So you could kind of play around with it and kind of make your, uh, you can kind of make up your uh, your custom tag if you've got a custom tag on your vehicle. And you just want to have your your vehicle look like that. You can do that. Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about with we talked about it briefly was with recording. So you can actually see the little red dot up here. This means that our system is recording because we have our system already set to on. So as soon as the car starts up and the cameras kick on, it starts recording. Um, so that's going to be your indicator that you are recording. So if you see that little red dot, that's all that means. It is recording. Uh, with the actual cameras This is a very very good system here. Uh, it adds a nice uh, feature that the Accord does not have which is the bird's-eye view capability uh, 360 view capability um, it also adds the ability uh, to record what the cameras are seeing which is great because as any of us know nowadays especially you, you can't be too careful and it's nice to be able to have a system that is all in one instead of you having to have a, a separate little drive cam up here to record what's happening as you're driving 
the the 360 view camera system can do it all for you and uh, also records and saves all this for you so if you need it for anything whether it be you know if if you've got if you get an accident or something or if maybe again if you just want to use it to take some nice some camera views as you're driving around with some of your buddies uh it can do everything uh for the for the money this is a very good system uh it works really really well it's a nice upgrade on the accord and kind of gives it a that more luxury feel all right so again this was um features and functions uh, walk through for the 18 to 22 Honda Accord 360 view camera system. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at info at highrev.sports.com.